Okay, so today we're going to do the small pelvic circle, which we also call an AMI. So uh, in a previous video, we did the big hip circle. So that was the big hip circle. We kept our spine very neutral. Uh, we were mostly just shifting our weight um, on our feet, keeping our shoulders stationary. So you can check that out in another video. Today we're doing the small pelvic circle, which we also call an AMI. And the main thing about this circle is that your pelvis is going to tilt forward and back. It's going to tilt forward and back, and it's also your hips are going to shift from side to side. So that makes it look like a very tight, controlled, small circle. And sometimes I tell my students that um, to get that image in the head of like you're cleaning out a honey jar. So it's very tight, it's very controlled, it's very internal, so you're using a lot of internal abdominal muscles, whereas the bigger hip circle was more about shifting your weight, you weren't using as much of that abdominal control. So let's go through this. Again, as with most belly dance positions, you want to have your feet right underneath your hips. So that's going to give you a nice stable position and make you feel really solid in the movement. So drawing a line straight down from your hips, you're going to put your feet down there, and then you want to kind of tuck your pelvis under just a little bit, just to keep it in a nice neutral position. So I go from here, and I just tuck under just a little bit, engaging the lower abdominal muscles. So now, let's focus on shifting the hips from side to side. So with our feet underneath our hips, we're going to squeeze right here in our uh, oblique muscles, which um, from the bottom of your hip to the top, uh, from the top of your hip to the bottom of your rib cage, you're going to contract in that space right here. So you're going to go from side to side, side to side, side to side. So you're squeezing in here. You're also lifting up nice and tall so that you don't wind up shifting with your hips. You're going to keep it really controlled. In another video, I'll show different exercises for strengthening these muscle groups. So here you've got that side-to-side -side hip motion. That's good. Okay, now we're going to tilt the pelvis forward and back. So we'll just let that pelvis fall forward just very naturally, and then a strong contraction, pulling the navel in towards the spine. So I release, contract. Pull that navel in towards your spine. You're using all of these lower abdominal muscles, pelvic floor muscles. So drop, tuck, drop, tuck, drop, tuck, drop, tuck. Pull that navel in towards the spine. Drop, tuck, drop, tuck. Now we're going to combine this forward and back with the right and left. So we'll tuck, shift to the right, go back, left. Tuck, right back, left, tuck, right, back, left, tuck, right, back, left, tuck, right, back, left. From the front, tuck, right, back, left, tuck, right, back, left, tuck, right, back, left, tuck, right, back, left. Now let's try to smooth that out to create this small pelvic circle. So all I've done here is just round out, smooth out that four directions, the up, side, back, side. And really focus on that up movement, up, that pelvic tuck. Just like that, from the side. And then if you speed it up, you can loosen up that control a little bit. This is very similar to the movement that they do in, in Hawaiian, um, uh, in hula dancing, and name is escaping me right now. So um, that is our lesson for today. Uh, if you like this video, please click like on the bottom, and please share with your friends. And if you'd like to get updates and more videos, please go to hipbellydancer.com.